Hi, Marcus here from Swift Coach Traders and Marine Centre and today the subject is measuring axles. This is a typical uh, client that's brought a trailer in and as you can see we're going to go manufacture a new axle for them. This is rusted. People get confused on measuring axles. It's called hub face to hub face and I'm here to explain what that actually means. Uh, this here is a disc brake axle. Uh, measuring from hub face on a disc brake and on the axle is where the stud comes out and where the base of the hub is, where the wheel box onto. So on a disc brake, it's this one here. Lots of people go and measure it and they go and put the tape measure from here and they'll run it all the way down through to here and they go, here's my hub face. But what they're measuring is the disc has really no impact on where the axle wheels bolt on. It's from this side here coming through to here. To go and measure that on a disc brake, pretty simple. I get a couple of straight edges. If I go and try and measure it here, I'm trying to guess it. So what we end up doing, we hold the straight edge onto here and we make sure we hold the tape on the inside, not the outside. We're holding it on to here and we will then feed the tape down. I'm gonna hand, I'm gonna hold on to the dumb end of the tape. I'm gonna hand it down to Steve here and he's gonna show you the actual measurement. So from here, I'm coming back holding on the dome end of the tape. Here it is here, and running all the way down. And this axle here is 23.54. So it's 23.54 millimeters. On that, that, now we do this on an existing axle only, which we're gonna go and keep the wheels, and we want to replicate this axle. We will, you email us this information, and from there we can then manufacture an axle. I'm gonna go and move over to here, so your hub face is on a couple of others. We have the hub face on a lazy axle, same thing. Where the nuts come out, we're gonna run the tape onto that, down to the other one. That's gonna give you hub face to hub face, and from that we can manufacture an axle. The same goes with a drum. Doesn't matter, they come in 10 and 12 inch, these do. And again, we're gonna measure from this face, so putting the tape on, running it through, and that is, the hub face to hub face, what we do, we go and add on, depending on the type of axle, we will add either 110 for an SL turn, which is 1.5 ton, we will add 120 millimeters onto that measurement for a parallel axle, and for the big one like this one here, we're manufacturing, it's a Dexter axle, we add 170 mil on, that will give us a tip to tip. All axles predominantly are measured in inches. This is going back in time, they always have in inches, and they are measured from tip to tip measurement. So you can measure from tip to tip. That's coming around through to here, taking this off, and the tip of the axle is from here to the other tip. It's okay to measure with that. I prefer to go hub face to hub face because if we manufacture it hub face to hub face, you go and put that axle in, you know, you put the wheels on, it's gonna be exactly the same as what we manufacture. There are gonna be other subjects I'm gonna be talking about later on, on building a trailer from scratch and working out the axle sizes, chassis width from outside of tire to outside of tire. Look, for any other information on axles, please call us on 1300 959 or visit swiftcoattrailerparts.com.au.